Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Wes the Suburban Viking. Of course we all know I am with, I am from, I am Midgard Axe. This is one of the most important videos. I think it is one of the most important ones I've put out to you guys and to me, but mostly you. I always tell you guys you are family and friends and I speak to you guys like family and friends. I don't hold back and I give you my honest opinion. Now it's time for me to put my money where my mouth is. At least I think that's what I'm doing doing this. Hang tight, we'll get to it. You guys are going to want to watch this video because I'm going to put power into your hands. More power than I think most YouTubers do, so you're going to want to watch this. Yes, we are going to have some axe drops in this video. I'm going to give you guys some new information, that uh, a new series that I'm going to bring out that's going to include my dad. You guys are going to watch, watch this one too. This is really cool. And just some general information about some axes that I've done reviews on and just cover all kinds of different information. This that's probably going to be a long one, but sit through it. I'm going to post this one on Sunday so you can relax, listen to this one. It's got good information in it, so let's get into it. So to start things off, if you don't know who I am, my name's Wes. I am the Suburban Viking. I do a lot of axe throwing, axe hafting, all kinds of crazy stuff with axes. But my channel is mainly devoted to axe throwing. On this channel here, I've done a series on uh, how to throw axes like a Viking. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. I tell you guys how I throw axes. I give you pointers and show you what you can do and what not to do when throwing axes. Now, I want to show you guys something really quick just to kind of put it out there, okay? Me and Dave were scrolling through YouTube the other day, and I, I t typically don't watch a ton of YouTube, um, but we were scrolling through the other day, it was late at night, and we were just kind of flipping through, and I ran across this gentleman right here. I'll put his information up on the screen, watched a few of his videos, pretty cool, his name's Adam, and uh, from what I understand, if you read the top of his uh, profile or his YouTube channel, it says that he's a five-time uh, knife throwing champion, he holds a couple records, uh, he's a Czechoslovakian, I believe, has a bunch of cool stuff on his channel. Go check him out if you haven't seen him or you don't know what he's about. Pretty cool dude. And he has a lot of cool videos. Guys, I'm bringing him up for two reasons. If you don't remember a long time ago, a while back, that I said that I was going to start making some shorts or videos based on movie scenes with axe throwing. He beat me to the punch. He made a video about two months ago or a short two months ago about how Mel Gibson in the movie Patriot throws his tomahawk and kills the British uh, soldier to save his son. I had planned on doing that video. I'm not going to do it anymore. I don't like copying people, especially if I know the videos out there. So he beat me to the punch. So congrats, congrats Adam. You did beat me to the punch, but I'm not going to do it now. I'll do something similar maybe with some fruit, you know, later on in the summer and do something similar, but I'm not going to copy the guy. I think that's kind of crappy. Anyway, if you go into his channel and you watch some of his videos, one of the videos that he put out just recently was that video with Mel Gibson. And in one of that, and I think it was in that video, he shows how he grips an axe. Let me put a still shot of his video up so you guys can see how he grips his axe. Hmm. That looks a hell of a lot like how I told you guys how to grip an axe, don't it? Telling you guys. Telling you. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I, I don't have world records. I don't, I'm not a champion, but I do know, know what I'm talking about when it comes to throwing stuff, especially axes. I know what I'm talking about, and I'm bringing you guys real information. Just wanted to throw that out there. I thought it was cool we were scrolling through and saw him holding it, and I paused it, and I was like, yep, he knows what he's doing. And you can clearly see by the way he's holding his axe, he knows what he's doing. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. As you guys know, when I started this channel and I started doing reviews, I said that I'd be honest. I'd be up front. Tell you what happened to these axes. If they hold up, if they break, forgings are all jacked up. I got no problem doing that. I'm going to be honest with you guys always. Now, with the World Axe Throwing League Axes, everybody on this channel knows that I've had an issue with the handles breaking, okay? The King of Diamonds here, the Butcher and the Ace of Spades, okay? Now, if you go into the comment section of this one here, when I rehafted this uh, King of Diamonds here on the Beaver Tooth Handle Company's handle, um, a gentleman made a comment into the comment section that actually kind of made me think. Uh, I'm not going to go over what he said. He basically said, you know, he's got a bunch of these axes and none of the handles broke. He doesn't understand what's going on. So, I got to thinking about it. And don't don't show this guy any hate. Uh, guys, you know I'm totally open to people with differences of opinion and bringing it to my attention and maybe giving me their opinion. Totally open with that. So, he got me thinking. And it's important. You guys know I throw really hard. 
And when you throw an axe hard, you can sometimes get away with throwing an axe lightly or competition and the handle holds up for a really long, really long time. Now I can throw an axe hard and it may hold up half the time or a quarter of the time or it could break after a few throws. So my question to you guys is, is that do you think I've been a little too harsh on the World Axe Throwing League and their handles? Do you think that maybe I should take into consideration how hard I throw and that should play a factor in these axe handles breaking or not? I know a lot of people out there might be throwing their axe competition-wise, you know, you know, competition throws, and they're like, dude, my handle's holding up fine, whereas I get it and I throw it a few times and the handle breaks. Take into consideration I do throw hard. I just, I have an issue with that personally because I have axes that I throw hard and nothing happens to them. And then I get three of these and I throw them hard. And you guys saw clean sticks. I, I recorded it. It was on camera. Clean sticks and they broke. So am I being a little too harsh on the World Axe Throwing League handles? Should I consider the fact that they're made for competition? I believe the gentleman said that these were made for competition. So they're not made to be thrown hard, which is possible. Totally possible. If that's the case, then when I go into reviewing Moral World Axe Throwing League axes, I need to go into it with a different mindset and tell you guys, hey, look, they're not designed to be thrown this hard. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think maybe I should take a different approach? Maybe I should say that the World Axe Throwing League axes are made for competition and they're not hafted to be thrown this hard. Or should I continue down the road I'm going on and saying, hey, if they're going to haft an axe, it should be able to hold up to a hard throw. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. I'm curious to know. You guys are part of this channel. You are this channel, including me. We're both all in this together. So I want your honest opinion. If I'm putting something out there that you guys don't agree with or you think maybe I should go a different route, tell me and I'll go that route. I'm not a competition thrower, so I'm going to tell you what I think based on my experience and my opinion. When I've got axes that I have on handles or even the Grand Brook axes that come from them, I can throw them as hard as I want and they don't come loose and they don't break. So, you know, it's hard. It's, it, it is, it's a weird and touchy subject to get into because I know people have a lot of different experience with axes too, guys. I understand that. Guys, I know that axes are all different. You know, I could get an axe same axe you got and it could throw great for me and you get it and it could be horrible got to keep that in mind too so just tell me what you guys think do you think i should go a different route with judging these axes handles that come from the world axe throwing league or do you think i should keep trucking on like i'm doing it's just really hard guys when i come from a standpoint of hafting axes and throwing them as hard as i can they hold up and then i get axes like the council tool double bits and the camp carvers and stuff like that that you know aren't designed to be thrown and i throw them as hard as i can over and over and over again and they hold up I get three of these and all the handles breaking. And you guys saw, if you guys don't know, I've got all the brakes on camera. They're clean sticks in the target and the handles are cracking and breaking. And they're all breaking at the same spot. So I just, I have a hard time. I'm not saying that he's wrong. I'm just saying that I have a hard time with my experience and my opinion, seeing that how axes perform. It's really hard to say that, you know, I have to an axe and it's only designed to be thrown moderately with for a single rotation. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying I have a hard time with it, but he could be right. And if he is, I'll change the way that I review their handles going forward. Here we got a 28 inch Hoffman blacksmith and axe handle guys. Look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous. Felling axe handle. What a great handle. However, we're going to do something a little differently with this one. If you guys didn't know, my dad is an incredible woodworker. I'm talking incredible. He has talent that I'll never have. And I'll put some of his work up on the screen now and let you take a look at some of the stuff that he's done in the past just raw talent he can just get something in his head and go to work on a log or a piece of wood and carve stuff out of it he's got incredible talent um and like i said it's just natural talent nobody taught him he did he does all this on his own he's also a great incredible artist he can draw things uh, just crazy stuff guys just crazy stuff anyway I'm going to try to bring some of his work to the channel when he wants to. He's retired, so I'm going to let him enjoy his retirement. But, um, you know, when he feels like doing it, I'm going to ask him to make some things, and I'm going to video him, make videos of him doing some of this cool stuff. And the first thing he's going to do on this channel is his handle. I'm not going to tell you exactly what he's going to do to the handle yet, but I have to have to have to have to <laughs> a head onto this handle. He's going to do something down here with the knob, I'm not going to tell you what yet. That's going to be really cool. However, I have to haft a axe head on this first 
before he can start working on this. So I need your guys' help and your guys' opinion. What do you think I should put on top of this before he starts doing his woodworking in this handle? What, do you, what kind of head do you think I should put on this? A Swedish head? I will say that we're going to go for a Norse background. So I do want to do something European, Scandinavian, you know, wherever it comes from. Probably either German or uh, Swedish st uh, style axe head up here. I was thinking about maybe doing something like the Grandsforsbruck American felling axe head up here. And then letting him do his thing down here at the knob. But tell me what you guys think. What do you think would look good if we did a Norse inspired handle carving wise? What kind of axe it would look good up here? 28 inch felon axe, by the way. Next thing up on the list is the Honshu Corito. I know some of you have uh, been probably wondering where this thing's at. I do have a bunch of axes left sitting over there that need to be reviewed. But I wanted to tell you guys about this axe. I did review this axe and I've got the video uh, shot already. But I decided to take a different approach and give you guys more of a personal touch on this axe here. And I'll roll some of the footage in of me throwing this thing. And, um, you know, it was really cool. Like I said before, I, I kind of already did a video on it. And I kind of gave you my opinion, gave you specs. I went over everything on this uh, axe. But I decided to do something different. As you can see, I'm throwing the axe here. And I've got a bunch of different uh, throws going on. And then all of a sudden, I throw the axe and something happens. The handle completely broke in half and as you can see in the video the toe of the axe hit into the target like this so it went into the target like this and the handle literally shot out and then as it shot out the head fell out of the target it kind of came out of the target and fell so uh, you know i wasn't going to make a huge video i you know guys I, i'm not really all about the views and making videos yeah i could have made a video about this and said you know what my personal opinions were and kind of made you watch another failed axe um, i just didn't feel like doing that i thought it was kind of disingenuous um, because i thought this required a personal touch on this axe i will say that with this axe here okay the uh, handle is a injection molded handle and if you go online and read about injection moldings um, there can be all kinds of different stuff that go wrong with that okay i don't know i'm not an expert in that field um, but i will say guys you've probably seen people online using these to maybe like cut up some wood or to slice water bottles in half and i think that that would probably be where this axe is good at I don't want to say it's a novelty axe per se, but I will say that I think that's probably good where it's at. Kind of novelty style, slicing some water bottles, maybe doing some stuff. I just don't think that that handles up to the task for axe throwing, especially throwing it hard. Now, some of you might have this axe out there, and some of you may have thrown it and it's held up. Um, that's great. I would say that that thing is not good for hard axe throws. I don't think that that handles up for it, okay? The reason, another reason why I wanted to do... Um, the review or what happened to this axe in this video here is because I wanted to show you guys something really cool. I have started and I'm gonna, I'll finish it at some point and I'll come back and show you guys. I have started, let me see, make sure I don't cut my finger here. I have started making my own handle for it. It's going to be something I've never done. It's really cool. It's kind of rough sketched out. This is all steel. I'm going to make an all steel axe out of this and it's going to be really hard to not make it handle heavy because this thing is just paper paper light and paper thin and this thing is really heavy. So I'm going to try to get an evenly distributed weight on this but this is kind of just giving you an idea, kind of rough sketched what it could look like, okay? So pretty cool, I don't, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, there comes a time sometimes where, like I've told you before, when I throw axes, I want to be in the moment. I want to be in the mood. I don't want to throw an axe because I feel like I have to. I want to throw an axe because I want to. Same thing with doing custom work. There are times where I'm going to wait to do that when I'm in the mood, when I want to do it. And I'll be honest with you, I'm still a little upset about that because I didn't get a lot of axe throws with it. And also, too, if you guys have any information on that, let me know. I couldn't find replacement handles for that thing. I'd love to get a replacement handle for that, bolt it back on and throw it again. Maybe it was just a handle that I got. But um, I'm going to wait until I do the research and make a good axe with that before I just run out, put something together really quick and throw a video out to you guys. I don't want to do that. I feel like it's disingenuous. So when I have the, the knowledge and I have a good idea what I'm going to do with that thing, I'll finish it. And I'm going to bring you something really cool with that. Hopefully, if it goes well, thinking about doing wood uh, paneling on the outside of the steel. 
and fixing it somehow to make it look really cool. Um, but like I said, I need to do a little bit more research before I just kind of throw it together and bring it to you. But um, I just want to go over the Honshu Corito. It was pretty fun. I had a good time with it. It just didn't last very long. The handle snapped. But uh, if you guys have any, uh, you know, ex similar experiences or you know about that axe and handles breaking, let me know. But like I said, novelty axe, cutting some water bottles is probably cool or doing something, you know, looking cool. But throwing that thing hard, it's just that handle's not up for the task for it. And that's okay. That's okay. I will say that they do, I believe, online say something about throwing it. So in my experience, in my opinion, I think that if a company's going to label something a throwing axe, they should really make sure that they can hold up. To, I, and to be honest with you guys, I don't even feel like I threw it that hard when it broke. I think they should be able to hold up to at least what I what I was throwing at the time. I hadn't even gotten really thrown it hard yet. I will say, though, if you go back and watch some of the throwing parts that I put in this video, you can see when the axe was hitting the target, the vibration going down the handle was like, like this. I don't like that in axes when I see that because that tells me that there's just too much vibration going down that handle and something's going to give way at some point. And if you guys remember when I was throwing, was it the uh, butcher? I was getting that. And then right after that, the handle broke. So maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know, but just wanted to cover that in this video. Now, before we get into the axes that have arrived and the ones I want to show you, the axe drop, the main reason why I made this video, I kind of wanted to go over some information with you guys, but the main reason was this. I talk to you guys like family and friends. I always boast about how this is just as much y'all's channel as it is mine. And I think it's time for me to put my money where my mouth is. I think I'm doing that by doing this. Some of you may be like, oh, you're not. Well, I think I'm doing it, and I'm coming from a good place doing it, so hear me out here, okay? As the channel continues, I'm getting more and more companies contacting me, wanting me to do reviews. I'm starting to get companies now ask me to do sponsorships. Now, here's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to throw it out there and tell me what you guys think of this. I think it's a pretty cool idea. I really don't think I've seen anybody do this, um, and it's not that I'm doing it because I want to be different. I just think it's important. Going forward, here's what I want to do. If there comes a time where a company comes out and wants to sponsor me, meaning I make money off of doing these videos, I make money pushing their axes out. What if you guys had a voice in it too? What if I came to you guys with a poll and said, here's the company, here's the products they want me to push to make money on, and I did a poll. Should we take the sponsorship? And I just do a poll, community poll, and you guys, I'll put two answers on there. Yes, no, or maybe. I'll do three answers. Yes, no, or maybe we need more info. And I'll put the poll out there. And whatever you guys pick is what I'll do. If you guys think the axe is good and you like the company, put yes. If you don't like the axe or you don't think I should be sponsoring them, put no. And if you don't have too much information about it and you want more information as to if I'm going to push this thing out to people, put maybe need more information and I'll come back with more information on the company. Or maybe I'll just go out and buy one or two of their axes with my own money, test them, give you guys more information on it and say, hey, what do you think now? I think it's really important that you guys have a say so in how I conduct business on this channel. You guys make this channel what it is with me, right? So I think you guys should have an opinion on whether or not I take a sponsor from this company or that company or I sponsor this axe or this axe product. If the axe is crap or the product's crap and I happen to get a good one, you guys tell me that. So that way I'm not pushing something that's bad. I don't ever want to push a bad product. I'll tell you guys that if a company sponsors me, I'm not going to work with one product and then go, oh, it's great, and sponsor it. It's going to be something that I work with over time. I'm also going to go out and get two or three more of their products, work with those over time, and see how well they do before I start slapping my name on it. So it is going to come from a place of testing, rigorous testing. You guys know that. I'm not going to just daintily throw it and go, it's great. I'm going to put it through its paces and test it, and I'm going to give you an honest opinion about it. But it's also going to come from working with other products from that same company and their company image. I don't want to be working with a company that has a bad image either. If they're doing some crazy stuff, I don't want to be associated with it. So I wanted to bring that to you guys. Tell me what you think about that. You guys, I think, have just as much of an opinion in this as I do. And like I told you guys, I got a full-time job. This is hobby. 
And yeah, at some point in time, I'd like to make a little extra money on this channel just to provide uh, some money for shipping you guys the free giveaways and buying the axes for reviews and stuff. You know, that costs a little bit of money. So it'd be cool to put some money back into the pot to buy stuff and do stuff. So tell me, what do you guys think about that? I thought it was a cool idea, and it brings you guys into that family and friends bubble that I always talk about. And I want your honest opinion. So tell me, what do you think about that? Okay, so let's get into the axes that have arrived. All these axes I'm about to show you have been given to me by companies. There's been no money exchanged. All they did was send me these and say, Wes, we want you to do a review on them, and then you can keep them or give them to your subscribers. So just to give you guys a heads up, I'm not getting paid to do this. They're just giving me free axes to give to you after the review. Okay, so the first set of axes we got here are from Throw Club, and they are friction fit style axes. I believe, I believe, and I'll give you more information when I do the review on them, I believe they're beach handles, beech wood handles, okay? Friction fit style handles here. And, um, you know, they're pretty cool looking. They do have kind of a bigger uh, uh, eye area here, and then it kind of slopes back as you can see here. So I'm interested to see how that's gonna feel in the hand. They are more of an, uh, I will tell you guys, they're more of an evenly distributed weight as you can see here, but that's okay. They feel pretty good in the hand, so we'll test them and see how well they do, but we did get a set, and of course, guys, whenever I get sets like these, I will break these up into two different giveaways. Set number two comes from Throw Club as well, and these are traditionally hafted axes with a beard in them and the little pointed lugs down here at the bottom. They do also, I believe, have beech wood handles. A little thick on the handles, guys. I would like these handles to have been a little thinner, but all in all, not bad. Um, they do have some pretty big bits on them, and so did the uh, friction fit style handled uh, axes had pretty bit, big bits on them too. So here's a look at them here. Of course, guys, we'll get into testing them and throwing them. Um, so far, they look pretty decent. I haven't really looked at them too much, guys. I kind of just took them out of the box and gave them a quick glance before I took them out to show them to you on camera. But here's another set, and of course, like always, we'll break these up too. As long as they hold up, we'll break these up too and give these away as two different uh, giveaways. Pretty cool, pretty cool, not bad. Um, I do like the uh, design of the axe heads, so we'll see how they work. So the next axe is from a company called Kova, and it is the Black Thorn Axe. I will tell you guys, this is a pretty expensive axe. It's almost 100 bucks. Really cool packaging that it comes in. It's kind of magnetic here, and then you kind of flip it open. Um, I did take it out already and kind of look at it. It does have a Kydex uh, sheath, which is really cool. I checked the snaps on it. It's freaking Kydex. It's awesome. It looks like a, a pew pew holster. Um, same stuff that's made out of those uh, some of those holsters, but pretty cool. Very durable. Looks really good. I took a look at it and was really uh, kind of impressed with this holster. Um, holster with this sheath. <laughs> I got pew pews on the brain, but uh, yeah, pretty cool guys. Pretty cool. Shadow boxed in there with foam. Um, you do get a little bit of a card in here showing you what it's about and the information on it. Um, and then you get a little business card in here. You do get this really cool belt loop, uh, which is a really cool design. Uh, we'll get into that when we review it. And then we have the axe itself, which is really cool. G10 panels, G10 handles. Really cool, guys. Really cool. They really thought that out, which I was really impressed with. And I also will say this too. I haven't delved deep into this axe yet. But from what I understand, from what I read, you can get uh, different panels to put on this axe. And they are available to order online, which is even cooler. So you can change these panels out if you need to. Just a really cool looking axe, guys. Kind of a funky kick to it. And as if you guys remember, when I do my background with the um, axes that I've retired, you guys know that the very first axe I ever designed and hafted has this same hook inwards so i actually have some experience kind of throwing an axe like this so it's going to be kind of interesting kind of cool um i am interested to see how well this thing flies it does look pretty damn cool um you do have a little spike here at the back um you do have uh, a little puller right in here and then you have a bit on top and then a bit right here which is really cool i'm interested to get into this thing and, and see how well it flies but i will say guys it feels really good in the hand i'm really impressed with how these uh grips are placed on here and how well they feel so can't wait to get into this one and throw it it's probably going to be pretty cool and of course guys i'm going to be honest with you the first thing that i noticed when i took this out was the bit that was in line with the handle if it was to stick into the target look at the handle guys 
it's sticking out farther than the bit is. So that means that if you were to stick it like this, the handle's gonna come in, it's gonna hit first, okay? That is a little bit of an issue. I would've probably made the head stuck out a little farther or maybe made the handle straight um, because that will be an issue throwing it. I mean, you're gonna have to kind of over-rotate it to get it to hit cleanly. But you know, like always guys, we'll throw it and see what happens. If you guys didn't know, I dropped the DeWalt hatchet. That was the hardware store axes that are good enough for axe throwing. Go check that video out. That is a free giveaway. So if you want to win that axe, go in the comment section of that video, write axe, and you get a chance to win that axe. Got some really cool stuff coming up, guys. I'm still working on the uh, how to throw an axe like a Viking series. I got a bunch of those videos to make, guys. And the throwing mechanics video is going to be really long, but it's going to have a ton of good information in it. Um, I do have a bunch of those other axes that I dropped in the last axe drop video that I haven't even gotten to yet. So those are in the queue as well. Um, I do have a Frankish axe coming up. And of course, guys, I got the Ragnar in. I got the Ragnar um, World Axe Throwing League axe in the house, but I'm not going to show it to you. Too bad you're going to have to come back and watch me throw it and wait. So thanks for all your support. Hope you guys got some good information in this video. I hope that you really think about what I said about you guys putting your input in and sponsors on this channel. Really think about it and um, tell me what you guys think in the comments section about that. I think it's a good idea. Could it be a bad idea? I don't know, but I'm definitely going to put it out there and let you guys decide on it. So tell me what you guys think. But hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some information out of it. I can't wait for my pops, for pops to do this axe. It's going to look really cool, guys. I'm telling you, he's incredible. He's going to do something awesome with this thing. So tell me what you guys think about the handle or the uh, actual head that we should put on this handle. And then we'll do something really cool with it and I'll make a video on it of him doing it. So thanks for all your support, guys. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. You guys are awesome. But until next time, see ya.